Um, next up is Paul Dagnall from uh, University of Dayton. And this one is an intriguing one to me. He's he's going to be talking about a token economy. So, Paul, I'm very curious about this one. Take it away, sir. All right. Can you hear me and see my slides? Yes. Well, good. All right. So the token economy is a situation where instructors give students tokens. And with those tokens, the students can purchase leniency, which could be in the form of missing class or turning assignments late and all kinds of other things that you will see in my very fast presentation. And so... What this came from is we have surveyed our faculty and we hear a lot of uh, complaints. You know, they say post pandemic students are struggling and they are always asking us for, you know, mercy and leniency on all kinds of things. And the truth is that was existing pre pandemic as well. It just has been highlighted a little bit more now. And then there's equity concerns where if, a, um, if that student got leniency and I worked real hard, how's that fair? And then there's just a general stress that this creates for both faculty and students to have to deal with it. And so with the tokens, with the token economy and the app that our development team has created to support this, we can avoid this really awkward thing where students are begging and, and these really long emails that are longer than the paper that they were turning in late is supposed to be anyway. And, and so we can try to avoid these uncomfortable communication situations. And so um, this tool is built by our development team, specifically Drew Niekamp, if you've not met him, he's very nice. And this is done on the SUGI framework and it connects in the Sakai with LTI. <clears throat> and our external sources for this is there's a book by Linda Nilsson called Specifications Grading that kind of talks about the advantages of using a token economy in your university course. And then there's a few other schools where there were, um, um, there's where they did some good work of setting up their own token economy, but they didn't create a open source app like we did. And so this is how it looks from the student perspective. The student is given a balance of tokens, and then there is a set of categories for what they can spend that balance on. So here I've put in a whole bunch of them, and you can notice some of them are worth one token, and some of them are worth two, and, and some are worth three. And that's how expensive it is for a student. So if a student wanted to use like the late assignment token, they would click on it, and it will say, you know, they have to define what the assignment was called in this case i said toledo assignment but the um the thing is that they don't need to say why they spent the token all right they, they just have to say what it's for they don't need to say why they don't have to say you know i had a grandparent that died or i got sick or i just was lazy or i needed mental health break or something like that the instructor it's not that they don't care about the student but they don't need to care about why and so when you first as the instructor here's the view for setting it up you, you say how many tokens you want to give what's the date they can be used by, and you assign the categories and how expensive each token is in that category. So you kind of are setting up this little economy for the students to work through. So some of the views for the instructors are that they, you can see all the pending requests that are available. If you um, go to review, you can accept or reject depending on uh, all kinds of rules and situations and if they provided you enough information. Uh, you're able to see the balance that each student has and um, we've piloted uh, 10 instructors and we, and we did a survey. And because uh, Martin's a monster and he's only given me a small amount of time, I'm not gonna be able to show you all that data, but um, you know, the students are overwhelmingly positive about it. I'll, I can get into why we had a lot of neutral responses where they said, I haven't used it enough to decide. And then there were some, uh, a few negative and, and there was some interesting uh, things about that. And, um, so the key to make this work right, and I think part of the reasons why we did get some negative is the communication. The communication has to be done very well. And so um, this, first of all, the students need to say what the token is for, but not why. Uh, you wanna put very clear language in your syllabus. You need to talk about it in class. And, um, and then as the semester goes along, you need to remind them what it's for and, uh, that, and why it's beneficial for them to do it. And then of course, ask the students for feedback so you can make adjustments later. Um, Sometimes students are confused about this or think it's unfair and stuff. I like to describe tokens as a combination of a personal budget and insurance. You know, it's a budget. You have to think about how you're going to spend them working through it, but you might not want to spend them. You might not want to plan to spend them because you never know what could come up where, you know, maybe you do get sick and something happens and you need to use some tokens or maybe just think life happens. Um, this is an example of a syllabus blurb and my slides are going to are in the uh, folder that you can get in the um, conference site and you can see this language. I highly recommend like thinking through what you're going to say in here. 
We've recently added a uh, the ability to award a token, and I generally suggest avoiding this to keep it simple and equitable. But we've um, um, some people on our team have come up with this idea that you know if you could use uh, tokens to encourage students to do things that they typically don't do but really should do, like tutoring, supplemental instruction, office hours, doing optional study guides, maybe giving a token. Um, maybe that helps them do uh, activities that are going to be he healthy for their learning anyway. So please accept. I mean, I just had to do this, right? Uh, throw a pun out there, but um, any questions? There's a lot of chat here, and I, I just, I really, I don't feel like you should have characterized me as a monster because you have three minutes and 40 seconds left. So you could do a deeper dive into the data if you want to, but take a look at the, the chat. Um, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let me read some of these. Well, I'll throw yeah. in one from Chernetta right away. You know, if I've got six tokens left at the end of the semester, can I cash them in for a grade bump? So that is, uh, there, there's people that have um, suggested that. And um, and that would be allowed as long as it's okay with your, you know, with the department policies. You know, so I've, I've seen people do it grade bumps or ask about that. I've had people say like, can students get out of a major assignment? So if you give them, you know, like nine tokens and the student maybe has eight of them left at the end of the semester, can they cash that in to avoid some like large term paper or final exam or something like that? And if it's permitted and you have that freedom, you could do something like that. that, that those are ideas that have been discussed. So there's um, another thread through the questions here that's basically, okay, University of Dayton built this, very cool, kudos, kudos. Now, what about the rest of us? You know, how could it be contributed back? I see Dr. Chuck saying, I got to get this into the Sugi cloud. I see Sarah saying, you know, is, can this be contributed back? You know, so. For sure. And I think the Sugi cloud is the answer to this. Um, but we, we're, I was just talking to Drew, our developer, about this before uh, I did this because I anticipated that question and didn't have a good answer ready. And so I think we, um, you know, we're going to work on that. And because I think this has value. Um, and so you were just talking about the uh, student data that I didn't show. Um, the amount of times where the students mention the word stress in the, in the tokens app, helping them with stress, decreasing stress, things like that was substantial. It was like the biggest theme throughout the student um, data. And that, you know, they, and, and that's why, that's kind of why we design this faculty stress and student stress. And, um, and so we think it's important for this to get out there for for those reasons because i think uh, other uh, universities and their students would also see that benefit agreed oh. okay good well thanks very much that's this oh. is really very creative <laughs> all right